Good morning everyone, Will again here and today on the farm we're abortion vaccinating the ewes. I've got a helper here today so I've got Ellie just ahead there. So the plan of action now is we're going to get all the ewes into the handling system and vaccinate them. So yeah, if you do enjoy the video today guys please give it a massive like and if you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe and don't forget hit the little bell icon and then you'll get notifications whenever we do videos. Cheers! So we've just got to use now and the plan is we're going to push them out of this field here up along the bund into the handling system. So we'll just quickly run around the corner so you can have a look. As you can see they already know where they're going pretty much so they'll run up there and along the bund. So for any of you that do have sheep, you will know that sheep don't often play ball. So they're meant to go up down there, but they decided to go into the field and spread out. So what we're going to do is pull them all up and push them back down up there. Days like today are the kind of days where I really do need a dog and I realise it. So maybe in the future, maybe not too far in the future, I may be looking into that, but we'll see what happens. So as it's a hot day while we're walking them, if any of them need to stop, we always let them go to the water trough. So you look over there, a couple of these have just gone to the water trough. And yeah, we don't try and push them when it's hot because obviously we don't want anything bad to happen to the ewes. We're just trying to do a routine vaccine and try and keep them as chilled as possible. We're on to the last little bit now. So we're just pushing the ewes up there. You see the black gates, that's where they're heading. And the handling system is just up above that. Right, so that's all they're using. As you can see, they're all here now. So all in the handling system there. And they're all some more in there. So plan is now, we're gonna get them all vaccinated. Let's crack on with it. Everybody wanna sing, sing, sing. You're a winner when you sing, sing, sing. I've got a song, you hum along. And we have fun, fun, fun. When we're moving to the beat, this kind of song. Makes you belong to something greater, something that makes you wanna sing. And it gets you in a dancing pool, and moving gets so easy, feeling easy to me. And it makes you kicking up what's so, and living gets so easy. I'm just gonna tell you now what we're doing today. So, we're vaccinating all the ewes with two abortion vaccines. This is to stop the ewes from aborting when they have the lambs, which can be a problem in the sheep industry. Um, so first of all, we're using the vaccinated with toxoplasmosis as well as enzootic abortion. So this one here is for toxoplasmosis. This is passed on through cat feces and usually really young cats, but which haven't had it yet. And this causes abortion. So after that, I've got the enzootic abortion, which is then passed you to you. So it can come on from another farm or anything, it's passed through. Uh... So we're about halfway through now guys, it's absolutely boiling hot, I'm sweating my bahunas off. Um, it's 31 degrees and we've. it's only just late morning. So we're going to try and get these all cracked through, unfortunately we got done a bit late because some ewe lambs got out. Let's get on with it and get them done. So that's all the ewes vaccinated now, unfortunately my camera overheated part way through that so I lost some of the footage but oh well I'll do what I can, I'll put it all together, hope you enjoy it. Well the ewes are back off up, up there, um, so oh one last one, a little straggler. So we're going to go for lunch now and do the shearlings after lunch, have a little bit of a break because it's that hot today, apologies on that sweaty but I can't help it. Right, going to go for lunch, close the gate behind these and get off so yeah. See you in a bit. So we've just got back from lunch. We're down at the shearlings now. There's about only 20 here to do. There was a few of them in with the ewes, the hogs that actually had lambs as hogs. So we're gonna get these in now. Ellie's gonna shake a bag of corn because we feed the corn just for these shearlings, just because they've lost a lot of condition having lambs as hogs. Yeah, let's get on with it. So 
so that's the morning. Oh baby And again and again and again and again and again and again I play it on So just to give you a bit more of background on the vaccines, so there's two vaccines as I said before and the flock here at home we've used one before last year which was the endzootic abortion one but we've never used the toxo vaccine before and this is because we've never really had a problem with abortions until last year and unfortunately we just had half a dozen um, ewes that had toxo so this year we're gonna do everything in the flock with toxoplasmosis and as all the ewes were already done with endzootic they got done so we're just doing anything that's new on into the flock so the shearlings with endzootic abortion and then everything with foot vax well, I've done about that in other videos before so just check those out for more details on foot vax this tells a bit more about abortion vaccines cheers so also guys what I'm going to do in the description below I'm going to put more details on toxoplasmosis and endzootic abortion so I haven't gone into too much detail just in case I bore you too much but yeah you want to see more about that just look in the description below going to talk a bit more about the vaccines and how we prepare them so first of all the vaccines come in two little glass bottles so this is the live vaccine in a, so, um, a solid form and then we've got the dilutant it looks a bit like water it's not water it's called dilutant so what we do using a syringe I put some of the dilutant into the solid shake it about and that activates the vaccine then we put it back into the water and then mix it up, sorry, not water, dilutant, and then mix it up and it's ready to use. So let's crack on and do that now. So first of all, I'll put some air in the syringe, pop some air into the water like that, which allows the vacuum to suck the water up itself. So there you go, get some water. Cool, that's enough. And then I put some of the water into the solid, as I said before. Put that into there, push the water in, and then just let the air out so it's right. Mix it up a bit so now that solid's now liquid. Give it a good mix, then put some more air back in the syringe. Pop it, oh, might want a bit more. Pop it straight back in, into the bottom, put the air out. And it sucks the vaccine up like so. I'll just do the last little bit. There you go. So that's everything out of that bottle now. Done. So that bottle's got nothing in. And we pop this back into here like so. Bump it in like that. So that's in. Let the air back in. Give it a mix. It's ready to go. So after this, we've got. Uh, gun here that which we use with, for the vaccine. I unscrew the gun like that. Take the old one out. There's the old one. Pop the old one back in. New one in. Then it's pierces the top so there's a little bit of rubber there and the point goes through the rubber like so. Then we screw it back up so it's tight and it's sealed on. Ready to go. Well, right, let's get back to the video. We've got a song, they hum along, and they have fun, fun, fun when they're moving to the beat. And it gets you in a dancing flow, and moving gets so easy, feeling easy to me. And it makes you kicking up what's slow.
so that's us done for today guys did you enjoy it today Al? yeah a bit warm so that was an insight into abortion vaccinating today guys if you did enjoy it please give it a massive like and if you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell below because then you'll get notified for every video cheers guys thank you for watching bye